gets most French football fans' attention. It's known here as Le Classique. Olympique Marseille and Paris Saint-Germain about to lock horns live on EA TV. It's known up and down France quite simply as Le Classique, Marseille against Paris Saint-Germain. It's a privilege to be here at the Stade Vélodrome. My name's Derek Ray and joining me for commentary is Stuart Robson. Stuart, what are you expecting today? Well, I'm expecting a good game, but this has to be one of the most atmospheric grounds in Europe at the moment. And just listen to the noise here today. But can Marseille get a result against this brilliant PSG team? And this is the lineup for Marseille. It's the impressive Paul Lopez between the posts. Valentin Rongier plays alongside Jordan Verretou in central midfield. And the focal point in attack today is Alexis Sanchez. And the PSG team looks like this. Gianluigi Donnarumma stands between the posts. Marquinhos plays alongside Sergio Ramos in central defence. Fabian plays alongside Marco Verratti in the engine room. And in attack today, Kylian Mbappe starts with Lionel Messi. Potentially exciting match in store, and it's Paris Saint-Germain who kick off. And after that fantastic effort, it's gone out for a throw-in. Fabian. Mbappe. Superbly read and executed. Vertu. Well, PSG have hit the heights in the goal-scoring department, Stuart. Fantastic record. Well, they're oh, wait a minute. They could be in here. <laughs> Slipshot passing. Messi. Goalkeeper's ball every day of the week. <laughs> but attacking possibilities. But a good piece of defending to bring it to an end. Matteo Guendouzi. A wilting under the pressure. And now they try to go forward. Under. Going well. Sanchez. Now with Rogier. Ideal for the goalkeeper, for any keeper. Well, it could be on for him here. And there it is! The opening goal, 1-0, and they'll feel they deserve it. Well, just look at this again. The speed of counter-attack is so impressive. And Mbappe just hits it with such confidence. He strikes it so cleanly. It's a great goal. And so Marseille get the ball moving again. Can they find a response here? 
Klaus. And Marseille pushing forward with options available. And the ruling is offside here. Genghis Under. Delightful pass. A terrific defending to stop them progressing. PSG, as you can see, have not enjoyed that much possession. But when they have had it, they've looked so dangerous, particularly when they press high up the field, win the ball back in those areas, and then counter-attack quickly. And a bit more defending on their minds here, I think. Gendouzi. Now Sanchez. Will they get themselves level here? Rogier. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Well, really fine goalkeeping. Good diving stop. Let's see about the delivery. And the keeper takes the ball, but the main thing is he held on to it. Well, there it is. The first half is now in the history books here at the Orange Velodrome. So into the second half, can Marseille pick themselves up after that first 45? Lovely ball over the top. And the pass was off target. It'll be a throw. Nuremenge. And the referee has decided to award the free kick to PSG. Can he do it from miles out? And pretty routine for the goalkeeper. Mbappe! Well, that's really sound goalkeeping, not letting the opposition have any scraps. Well, that save has kept them in this game. They now need to create one or two chances of their own. A real opening now. And it's gone in. The team's separated by two goals now. You cannot say they don't deserve it. Well, we won't get tired of watching this because the interplay around the box is wonderful. And what a clever bit of play it was from Messi, both with his movement and his finish. That's a nice goal. Jonathan Close. Genghis Under could reduce the deficit. Really important tackle. Well, the counter chance looks very real. They need to get bodies back. Well, the crossing needs to be a bit better than that.
Well, Marseille, as the stats highlight, have had most of the ball. But their attacking play hasn't been good enough so far. There's been too many safe passes and no real penetration. They certainly need to up the tempo if they're going to get back into this one. PSG are going to switch things around on the personnel front. Nuno Tavares, Vertu, back to Vertu, now will the cross work out for them, couldn't quite hang on, well that's the end of that for now, well what a brilliant save that was, how did he keep that out, just 10 minutes remaining here, he read the situation defensively and did his job. Counter-attacking very much an option. He went in so dangerously with that tackle. Now the referee is the man everyone's looking at. And the early shower, this is going to be a real test of their metal. Well, it's a straight red and rightly so, but how will they replace him? They've got to reorganise now. There has been plenty of limbering up from substitutes. And now both sides will make personnel switches. Couldn't hang on to it. Oh, in with a chance! Messi! Oh, marvellous goalkeeping. Well, it's a top-class save from a top-class goalkeeper. That's absolutely brilliant. So the corner played into the box. Oh, off the line. High-class defending right on the goal line. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. Well, three minutes of stoppage time added on here. Under. Gendouzi. It might be. And keeping it out. And that will be all. Three points for PSG. That's the good news for their fans around the world. Your assessment. Well, as I keep saying, if you make forward runs and you look to pass the ball forward and have players who can dribble past defenders, you're always going to carry a threat. And that's what they're doing at the moment. Their forward play was scintillating.